Hi, this is Money from uh, BSE2NSE.com and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, Nifty intraday levels table and I made a video re just recently uh, that was purely based on open price and Fibonacci alone. Uh, this is a much better version of it wherein we include the VAX also. So the India VAX you can get it from NSEIndia.com uh, I can show you how you can get it. Um, Go to your browser, type in nseindia.com. Once it loads up, uh, in the home page, uh, there's an option here at the just below the home page link. This red uh, tab here, click on it, it'll open up. And here you can see that the today's closing India VAX is 19. And the in the Excel sheet, uh, VAX will of course change through the day. Uh, in the opening hour, you will of course use the yesterday's closing price, meaning for tomorrow. Uh, trading I'll probably use 19.05 as the VAX to derive the levels so that will be more than sufficient rather than updating the excel sheet every minute uh, as the VAX changes through the day just use the previous day's closing value of the VAX okay and this combines uh, based on VAX if I just change the VAX instead of 18 you can see based on the VAX it calculates the day's range for 1 SD price right so if I put in something like 36 the range is going to be 140 if it's 18 the range is 70 if it's 13 the range is smaller so uh, lower the VAX uh, less is the expected range of nifty so you load whatever is the value uh, you can enter in decimals also if you want instead of 1 SD range if you want 2 SD range or 3 SD range you just need to update the formula here in the bracket here you can say multiply it by uh, 2 or 3 to get the 2 SD levels right so I normally use this only for nifty for those who want to use for stocks uh, who expect a 2 SD range or a 3 SD range I would say max 2 SD range is enough uh, just multiply this value by 2 uh, so modify the formula so that you can use the same excel sheet you'll just need to enter the price of the stock and the uh, VAX of course uh, you'll have to use the India VAX which is normally uh, very useful to use for nifty I'm not sure how much it is useful for uh, stocks and like I said I'm not sure how well this will work for stocks as well so that's a risk that you want to take you want to try and experiment and find out I believe for nifty these levels works really well and again credit to uh, Om Swaroop from our group who I think started sharing this excel sheet within the group and talking about it and basically once you get this range uh, it automatically uh, loads the Fibonacci levels and calculates the important levels to go long or go short below it and again the logic to go long or go short should be that you load 5 minute chart and the 5 minute close should be above 7486 for example here today I've loaded nifty spot value and you can get that from uh, Google Finance I'll, I'll probably not show that here now so today's value is 7469 was an open price in spot the futures price was totally different actually uh, because for nifty spot price uh, the open price is taken as the uh, uh, open price during the pre-open session uh, but for the futures it's the 9.15 p.m. the first trade that happens so if you are trading futures you will probably want to uh, look load the futures value and uh, trade based on that if uh, you're gonna track uh, spot value that's also fine it's just that you need to use the same to initiate the trade that's it and um, here if you can see 7.486 for, for uh, let me do the same for both spot as well as uh, futures to, uh, in this video so this, let me first this is first I've loaded the spot which is 7469 so it says you need to initiate a buy above 7486 sell below 7451 on 5 minute close below it and I would normally look to book profits in the yellow zone here which is the possible reversal point and uh, this is the max target of course max target of course you will not get in all all days you should realize that maybe 1 in 10 days uh, nifty will go and hits the uh, max profit zone or max intraday target zone 
so for an ideal uh, trader who is uh, satisfactory who wants higher accuracy levels the first yellow line yellow target that you see this should be your target you can see that you you can kind of make around uh, 20 to 25 points in nifty i would say possibly 20 points uh, you can make uh, although the uh, it suggests that uh, uh, you can make a little bit more than that all right so let I, i'll quickly show you the chart for today and let's analyze it, analyze this so you can see at the day opening uh, the 9:15 pm candle uh, it closes below 7440 right which actually initiates the sell trade immediately 7440 is closed below 7451 and 7440 uh, closing below 5 minutes you immediately go for a short with the target at 7423 which it had immediately hit uh, or not immediately at least in the next uh, uh, 30 minutes so if you had initiated a short at 7440 and you set the target as 7423 or 25 uh, the target gets hit here and again from the reversal zone nifty pulls back and then goes up and the buy trade is 7486 nifty never crossed 7486 in spot price and it continues to reverse down and again provides another sell opportunity trade wherein here it closes below 7450 if you initiate a sell trade or shorting trade here again you set the target as 7425 that also should have squared off in this spike here or by UOD you should have closed it and again to do these kind of trades you can even initiate a bracket order if you like uh, I'll try and make a sample trade based on that so in spot based on spot uh, trading uh, there was never a buy opportunity it was only a shorting opportunity and try and use this only once do only one trade based on it so that you spend less time and make more profits rather than you know spending more time and stressing out and uh, watching the market all through the day just take one opportunity or one trade per day based on this and this is based on the spot values now going to the nifty futures like I said nifty futures this is the nifty futures that I'm showing in pi you can see that the open price here was seven four three four which was a totally different value so let's enter that value in this excel sheet here 7434 of course you will normally trade only the futures you cannot trade the nifty spot so uh, it's pos possibly even better to just uh, do this trade based on the nifty futures value so it says that you have to short below 7416 7416 let's see when it happens uh, uh, the day low is 7415 here of course but I'm pretty sure that's not the uh, closing value on the 5 minute chart uh, minute let's say 5 minute chart I'm gonna load just for one day right so I think here in case of futures a sell uh, order never triggered you can I can kind of load this here on this candle if you see the closing price is 7417 a uh, little above here you can see 7417 okay this candle the lowest candle uh, the closing price is only 7417 so the sell call never triggered because the 5 minute close never went below 7416.55 so you should have never shorted in the first place if you are trading based on the futures and of course the buy trigger would have triggered here uh, in this case when you're following futures because it says go long on 5 minute close above 7451 the first target is 7479 or 7480 correct so obviously let's see here uh, 7450 let me bring this in so here if you see the closing price is 7453 in this candle here right here You can see 7453 this candle so if you initiate a bracket buy order here and set the target as 7480 obviously I don't think it hit 7480 even before that it kind of reversed stabilized and reversed 
so if you had put a bracket order here the stop loss would have trailed and gone up and we should have eventually triggered in the profit zone not much of profit zone even though it's less amount of profits i believe this system will give you much better accuracy and rather get rather than getting emotionally involved in the trade you can let the levels decide and the stop loss decide where you want to trade and similarly again uh, towards the end of the day when we came down the closing price never went below 7416 so there was only according to futures there was only one trade today like uh, you go long when it closed above 751 uh, 7450 and you could have probably uh, made max 20 points profits here and if you let the stop loss trigger maybe at 10 points so i believe this is a very good uh, excel sheet and you just need to keep doing it all the time and there'll be days when markets will immediately keep uh, 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 markets may give you a really big movement and on those days what you can do is enter as a bracket order initially setting the target as the possible reversal point and uh, once you get into the profit slowly you can begin begin to push it to the second reversal point and try and check the accuracy and i would say uh, max push it till the second reversal point where you can make up to 30 to 40 points a day and uh, that'll be a really good uh, way to trade so if it hits the target you'll make 30 40 points otherwise it's going to either hit the stop loss in the loss making zone or the profit making zone okay and i'm going to uh, attach uh, i mean i'm going to upload this excel sheet in uh, dropbox link and the link will be available at the bottom of the video please don't email me for it uh it'll be available at the bottom of the video and again uh, as usual subscribe to our youtube channel stay in touch and to join our trading group go and check out bsc2nse.com and you can fill out a form to join us that's it for now thank you bye bye